guys what's up it's raven and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this hairstyle on my real hair just kidding it's a wig <laughs> It's actually really hard to pretend to be somebody else. This is a video in collaboration with RPG Show, My First Wig, and Raven Elise TV. We all worked together to create this video for you guys. So if you guys haven't seen her video, I will link it down in the description box. She did a video on how she styles my wig. So she has two different wigs. So I decided to show you both looks that she wore for the wigs that she created. One thing I will say is that I've never glued a wig down before and I glued this one down with some eyelash glue and it ain't going nowhere girl you can literally like you can stick your head out the window on the highway and this wig is not gonna blow off and i'm gonna try the other one and let you guys see that one with that look as well with the space buns um that will be the next look that i do but this is your nice and casual everyday going to work going to school kind of look with the blonde bob wig i didn't show the lips so just in case you guys are wondering what lip i'm wearing i'm wearing uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton liquid lipstick. I've been in love with this liquid lipstick since I bought it like a couple weeks ago and I cannot stop wearing it. Like it's my new favorite like nude mocha color. So I'm gonna stop rambling and let you guys see the look. So peace out. So for this look, I already have my wig applied. I'm going to show how to apply my wig in the next look. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to start with my eyeshadow and I'm doing the colors Tuscan Sun and Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek and I'm applying that to my crease area just to warm that area up and kind of get it started for the next colors I'm going to be applying and I'm also going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette this red shade and this orange shade the red shade is red ochre and the orange shade is Realgar. I'm gonna mix both of those together and apply those to my crease as well um, to deepen that and I'm also applying those colors to my lower lash line. And on the lid, I'm just taking a packing brush and using the color Primavera. It's a gold shimmery color. And then after I apply that to my lid, I'm going to take tempura and apply that to my brow bone area. And I'm gonna take the color Vermeer and put that in my inner corner. Next, I'm gonna use the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. I love these lashes these and the 615s are bay bay and a half bay times two bay squared so i'm applying those lashes to my lash line with this glue that i can't stand uh i didn't know where my star glue was so we using this today and i don't like it because it don't stick as good but whatever now i'm taking my blush and contour what contour pan Z palette and I'm taking the color Covet and Chivalry and these are blushes by Makeup Geek and I'm applying those to my cheeks and now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in that glow and I am glowing up my cheeks and my nose and all the high points that I want to pop and now I'm just applying some mascara to my upper and lower lash line to make my eyes pop and mix my falsies with my real Z's. And now I'm taking a curling wand that is hot, very hot, and I am slicking down my hair at the top, kind of getting rid of that bump that comes in the wig. The hair is kind of like lifted at the root, so I'm smoothing it with the curling wand. And then I'm using the curling wand to add some extra oomph to my curls because even though it came curled some of the curls had kind of fallen and they were less fleeky so I'm you know just boosting the fleek and after I do that I just run my fingers through it kind of mess it up give it a more loose wavy effect so it's not so tight and curled up I don't like uniform curls so I'm just finger combing through it and that's it that's all for this look if you guys would like to see how I put this wig on how I adjusted everything to make it look seamless then you can keep on watching for the next look. This is not, you guys know, this is not something I would usually wear, okay? And uh, I'm only doing this for the sake of trying to recreate this look. I wanted to do this look in honor of this wig that Raven created. So this wig is from my first wig. It is the Malaysian Bob um, lace front wig. So if you guys don't know what a lace wig is, basically each strand of hair is attached to a lace cap so that you can part it 
wherever you want. A lace front wig is different because as you can see, there's only lace for about two to three inches. And then um, the rest of the wig is wefted hair and it's attached to the cap. Lace front wigs are obviously cheaper than full lace wigs because they don't have full lace throughout the entirety of the wig. I believe my first wig was 240 I believe 240 or 250 but the lace front version is like 180 I think and with the discount that is going on for Black Friday which of course you guys know RPG show and my first wig always have Black Friday sales you're gonna get even more of a discount so this is a lace front wig um, and this is it's more like a midi length kind of cut I wanted to recreate her look she did a space bun look with the space makeup so I decided to do the makeup look and the hair for you guys in this video um, I did not show how to put this wig on because I essentially did the exact same thing to this wig that I did to this one none of my hair is out none of my edges are out it's like all wig now this is weird for me because I'm not used to gluing my wig to my head like this I know some people have sparse edges or they don't want their edges out because they don't want to damage them. So if you are going for that look, I would suggest watching Raven's tutorial because I don't think I did a superb, stupendous job. It looks fine. This was my first time actually trying to pluck and glue my wig down in the front. I would like for it to be a little bit more seamless around here. It needs some work. But this is my first time wearing a wig in like, months. This is strange for me. So if you want to see how I got this weird space girl, esque look then you can just keep on watching so this is my wig head and i'm putting my wig on my wig head now my wig head is from sally's i believe i got it from sally's but you can get it from the beauty supply store wherever and just set it on a wig stand or a lighting stand like i am but they do sell wig stands at the beauty supply store as well just in case you guys are wondering you can just hook this onto any table or flat surface and i'm pinning the wig down onto my wig head now once I have my hair clipped back, you're going to start plucking the hairline. What plucking the hairline is going to do is it's going to give you a more natural appearance because hairlines aren't full like wig hairlines are. Like real hairlines kind of have like a little bit of sparseness and they go back into a more full look. So it's more of a gradient effect. It's not really like straight fullness unless you just have a ton of hair so you're going to use some tweezers or an eyebrow razor or whatever you want to pull hair out of the hairline you want to do it kind of randomly but at the same time you want to make sure that there's no like bald spots you don't want to pull too much hair out you just want to make the hair a little bit more thin in the front so that it looks more like a real hairline and it's not so abrupt and uh strong you know what i'm saying so i'm just plucking out random hairs kind of like eyeballing it seeing where i want the hairs to be this technique does take some practice and then when you're done doing that you can actually cut some baby hairs if you would like or make shorter hairs in the front i know for my hair i have shorter hair in the front when i have long hair um so i didn't want the hair to be super long i want it to kind of like lay over the lace so it's not just like a straight line of lace you know what i mean I'm cutting the lace off of the back and I'm adjusting the straps. Make sure to cut the lace off in the front too as well, the excess lace that you don't need. Now, if you really want to get that seamless look, you can bleach your knots on the lace. I don't like to do that because I feel like that makes the wig shed, but I just go ahead and glue the hairline down with some eyelash glue. And this eyelash glue is from Ardell, but it gets super hard. I wouldn't suggest it because it kind of hurts, but I also would suggest it though because it does get hard and it doesn't move, you know what I'm saying? So it's not gonna like lift throughout the day. After I've done my face, I did my face off camera because I wanted to speed it up for time. But as you can see, once I put makeup on, it kind of like helped everything to blend together better. First, I'm applying this eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This is Cocoa Bear. I'm applying that in the crease to create a base color and then I'm applying Morocco in a crease as well as so the orange color is going to kind of warm it up a little bit more because it'll contrast the teal better and I'm blending those two shadows together and then I'm going to take this essay edit pot and it's like a it's kind of like a paint pot on top with the shadow thing on the bottom and I'm putting that on with a flat shader brush I'm just applying that gel color first and then I'm going to go on top of it with 
Makeup Geek eyeshadows and then the Estee Edit eyeshadows. So the Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I'm going to use are kind of foiled. They're really shimmery. The first one I'm using is Glass Slipper and I'm applying that. But I didn't really like how that looked so I put Typhoon on top and it's more of a green color. I really like it. It kind of added a little bit more dimension to the look and I really love that. And then after I applied that color, I went into the pot and it's really shimmery, you guys. It was so pretty. I was freaking out when I saw it. I was like, wait, you're gonna watch my face, watch my face. Yep, there it is, there it is, the excitement. And then I'm going to go back into my crease color and apply that to my lower lash line to bring everything together. And after I do that, I'm going to apply this color, which is Charmed. And Charmed made me go crazy. <laughs> yeah so i applied that into my inner corner and it made the whole look just pop 10 times more and i was loving it and then i applied my mascara to the lower and upper lashes before i put on my falsies which are the 615 by salon perfect of course oh wait after i get mascara all over my face mm. yeah so i'm going back with blush and i'm applying the taraji highlight the truth or is it Taraji Glow? I'm not sure. We will never know because Mac mixed up the packaging. Yeah, anyway, I'm applying Chiro by ColourPop as my highlight to my nose, my eyebrow bone, and my cheekbones. And after that, I'm applying my lipstick. So I'm going to use the color Petite 4, which is the color that Raven used in her tutorial for this look. And I'm first applying this Chi lip liner from ColourPop, the K-pop collection, and so that it doesn't bleed or go outside of the lines. And then I'm applying the lipstick on top. I actually ended up wearing this look out and I just nixed the lip color and used um, like a nude lip gloss and it looks just as pretty. So this is a wearable look guys, don't worry. You can make it wearable. So this hair is actually super bombastic. Um, it came already curled. It's actually really pretty. I could have left it like this if I wanted to look more normal, <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and do the space buns. So all you have to do is basically just make two buns at the top of your head now you can be super neat and part it if you want to i'm not that kind of chick i just like to throw some buns up there i mean i don't really wear space buns like that but i mean for the look i didn't really feel like it had to be perfect um but when i do buns they're so like random like sometimes they work sometimes they don't kind of just have to practice and feel out your bun and see how you want your bun to form and look i kind of just twist it up and ball it together and put a hair scrunchie on top and then apply bobby pins wherever i feel like there needs to be bobby pins to hold it into the shape that i want to make so like as you see you're gonna see guys you're gonna see this bun is gonna work perfectly and the other one took like 80 bobby pins but this one only took like one so you just never know what buns, they're like kind of, I don't know, they, they have a mind of their own, but I like for them to look less neat so I don't use like the donuts and stuff, kind of just throw them up there. This hair straightens really easily. I wanted to see how it looked straight, so I started straightening some pieces. I didn't go through and straighten the entirety of the wig, but it would be best to do that if you're going to wear it straight, obviously. But it straightens really easily. The hair is really, really soft and silky, so it was really easy to straighten. Um, and it, I'm assuming it's easy to curl too because the curls were popping. So after you do that, you are done. I hope that you guys enjoyed both of these looks. Let me know which one you like the best and which wig you like the best. If you have any questions about the wigs that I'm wearing in this video, you can look in the description box and check them out for yourself. Be sure to check out the sales going on so that you can get a discount on your wig. And be sure to check out Raven's video to see how she styled my wig. So that is it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, up? it's Raven and... Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Gigi. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to... I can't be Raven today. Gigi won't let me. Hey guys. Hey. What's up, girl? Quiet on the set. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut up.